Okay, so what do we have here for weight? Four hundred and seventy eight ML unit, four hundred and seventy eight grams to one point zero five four pounds. It's kind of heavy. Sixteen point eight six ounces. So it's got a bit of weight to her anyway. Let's see what it can pull. Okay, so if I could just Hold the still and start the locomotive forward. Take it up to five speed steps. And we've got 2.8 ounces, 2.9, which is 0 0.085 kilograms, which it means in 0.18 pounds pulling pressure. So, about 30 cars. Is it still going? Oh, there you go. And the coupler height on the rear. To me, it looks to be almost perfect, but a little bit low. Move that back here. And on the front, it looks to be perfect. Okay, so we got her down to the layout just to check out some speed steps. Yeah, I do have it on half volume. So we'll go up to speed step number one. Two. Three. Four. And five. And we'll do the same thing in reverse. So we got speed step one. Two. Three. Four and five. And I'm just doing that with the building being in the background just so you can kind of see how fast it's going past the windows. So I'll hit pause for a second, get this thing up to full speed, and let's see how fast it flies by. 126 speed steps. Seventy-seven miles an hour, going frontwards. Top speed. And does it do that backwards too? Seventy-nine miles an hour in reverse for top speed. So let's speed step one. Yeah, this might take a second or two, or three, or four. Or five. Uh, at speed step one, we got 1.1 miles per hour. In reverse, one speed step. All 
almost there. We've got one mile an hour in reverse. So we have 18 cars. That's speed step 45. This gives us a speed of 40. So that's pretty close to the controller. And a grade of 2% coming up. She slows down quite a bit. And now we're heading down 2% grade. She makes it around this layout, all right. Like I said, 18 cars. <laughs> 